You are about to learn about a really incredible watch, and 13 of you will have a chance of buying it. I just found out it's been closed out, discontinued, and there's 13 left in stock. You know where to go to find the link to pick one up if you like the review. Don't wait on this one. When it's gone, it's gone. Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's an exciting day today, especially because I have no idea what's in this bag. A bag with no label in a DHL delivery package with a tracking number I don't recognize. You and I get to peek for the first time together at... Ooh, ooh, look at this box. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Well, it slides open easily. It's a watch. Oh my gosh. What is it? You know, because it's, it's in the descriptor up above in the title of this video, but I have no idea opening this. It looks like my IMEI number. You're not supposed to see that. Put that over here. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Now I know what it is. Let me get the paperwork for you. So here's the story behind this odd-looking little watch. You see that funny little thing right there? Yeah, that's what gave it away. The reason I called this in is so together we can see the light. Yes, we'll see the light. That's a light. It's the first time we've had a camera with a light on a watch. It's called the X86 and... Not too happy about the RAM and the and the storage, but uh, hey, it's an Android watch, and these were the specs I thought we would have on the X86, which is the model that we're looking at. Now skim these over, and notice if you see something interesting in here when I move you over to the one we actually got. You see... The, the good folks at GearBest said, well, we don't really have that original x86, but we've got the Hour Time x86, and at a better price, and they know I really try to get good prices for you, so check the show notes for the buying link to this one, because this is what we have right here. This is what came in, and these are the specs for this one. All right. Similar, 512, 4 gigabytes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, it's got the camera, 0.3 megabytes, or megapixels, 240 by 240 screen. Did you see anything unusual that's different between the specs? Did you see in this one? Right here, where does it say it? Oh, this says it's a 2 megapixel camera. The other one said 0.3, all right? And, importantly, this one says... It had a TF card, an external memory card, third, up to 32 gigabytes. This one, in the specs, on the hour time, says there is no external memory available. So we're going to have to check that out. That's one of the things important we wanted to look at. Let's take a look at the watch. And now we set it aside while we go through the box. See what else is in here. Ah, a lot of inserts. It's got an interesting charger that's got the T configuration. Not often we see this one, but it is magnetically coupled and it should just align right in here. It's a very heavy watch, so I don't think it's going to hold the watch, but it's not going to fall off easily. So you got your magnetic coupling charger, and of course you plug the USB into your computer to transfer uh, files and music and maybe watch faces, stuff like that to it. We have a uh, screwdriver in a bag, a few more goodies. It looks like a quality control thing, a product warranty card that you can fill out your information um, on there. And here's the specifics of their warranty. And we have a user's manual in the box and that's everything. And it says, welcome to use. And let's go through it. Does it go up and down? Down and up? Who knows? We're going to go down. Okay, here's the buttonology and the items that are on the screen on that side. 
Here is how you take it apart to put the SIM card. Notice, no receptacle for a micro SD or TF card. It's only a SIM card. So that answers the question in the manual. There's the USB charging. Here's some more pictures about how you navigate on the screen. Very, very simple. That's the screen unlock, it says. Okay, we have um, watch face and some of the apps that are installed in here. The dial settings. Mm-hmm. Contacts list. This is all for SIM calling, I would imagine. Being that it's only a 4 a gigabyte watch, I don't expect to see the Bluetooth tethering capability that is coming out on the flagship watches. We have, it looks like a keyboard for entry and what is this, writing emails. Ah, taking photos or videos. Uh huh. Basic, basic stuff. Here's your gallery for looking at your pictures. How you would handle music. Gosh, I don't even need to show you the watch. It's all here, huh? GPS navigation. There's maps. Okay. A little overview of that and spreading down into the next section. Uh huh. News and weather. Internet. Still can't quite figure the layout here. Oh, and the. Uh, What's this? Message, message checking. Okay, how you check your messages. And that's the whole manual. English, color, nicely done. Okay, we've got the warranty card. We've got the charging wire. We've got all of it. Now we're going to uh, charge the watch up. Oh, it's got a little cover on it. Charge it up and uh, we'll turn it on. Check out that light on the camera. Hmm, very interesting. Oh, I'm learning to read into the future, and you guys left comments that there's something else in here that doesn't seem to be on the other specs. It's in the really big writing up here. Heart rate monitor says that it's supported, but there's obviously no sensor. So, the uh, first x86 listing had a couple of things that looked like uh, more enhancements, heart rate and a TF card and... This one, the hour time, doesn't have that. I don't believe it. I, I really don't believe it. Not in my wildest dreams would I have ever imagined that this hour time X86 would have the same OS and the same firmware as my wonderful original S8. That's right. Look at this. They are the same. And I have love this watch. You know I've loved this watch. You want to see how much I love this watch? Uh, go to Google and put in the search terms YouTube space smartwatch ticks space S8. And I don't know, you'll pull up a couple of dozen videos because I talk all about this watch in that video. In those series, I mean, this is an incredible operating system. It's a, it's an amazing user interface, and I got I got things like active wallpaper, clocks in the background. I've set everything up in folders. I love this watch, but it, nobody ever came out with one like it until now. Until now, watch, watch the watch. First of all, you see, I've already got the slider in here for changing the brightness, the display brightness thing is working and if I slide hello there we go okay I'm at the uh, user interface where you see that all of the installed apps are there like little chiclets sort of like what you do on an Apple thing an Apple iPhone is that what they call it came out about the same year as this thing did I believe um, you have the little icons and if you wanted to put icons for your apps in folders it was as simple as tapping on them and holding them like phone and, and people and messaging all go together related to the sim card right there's no bluetooth dialing but there is sim card dialing however i'm pretty sure just like the old s8 the x86 is 2g so it's the old uh network unfortunately if I press and hold and I chase this little thing around, stop, come back, there, you see it got a square? That made it into a folder. And now the folder contains both of those. And if I wanted to put this in here and have all my 
sim stuff in one folder that I could move around on the screen, tap on it to get to access any of them, tap off of it to put it away. Yeah, yeah, now we're talking. Okay, we got the camera on this. Now, this one had a camera up at the top, and it was okay, and it was fun. Got some fun pictures off of it, but this one, the camera's on the side, right? And it has a light built into it. So I definitely wanted to show you a little bit about that. Let's go into camera. It brings it up first into its picture mode. Here's our watch, which we can try to center on here. And now, notice, notice right where my thumb is here in the camera. You see that little lightning bolt? That means I have the light turned on. So if I choose to take a picture of this watch right now, watch carefully. Oh, it didn't, I didn't see a flash. Did you see a flash? Wow, it's quick if it was. There's off. Uh -huh. And there's with the flash on. It is. It's just so bright in here. You know what? I'm going to take a picture up here like this. There. You saw the flash? Cool. Now, not only that, and here's all the pictures that are all fuzzy. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. It's working. Yeah. If I double tap it, look, I can zoom in. Yep. Double tap, I can go out. Okay. So we know the camera works like that. What about the video? Here we are. And you saw it turned around. If I go this way, it's going to point that way. It's got the, the geo goody goo in there that can tell where you are. I'm going to do a video clip with the light turned on. Watch. See? Went on. Ha <laughs> ha! We are recording video of this uh, S8 watch that I can't get centered. I never have a chance to get this thing figured out. But there you go. Okay. This is a video with audio. And you notice the camera is uh, turned sideways, so it's probably, yep, it's coming up in a different angle. It's going to be this way, it appears. So, uh, which way do I slide? There we go. There's the video. I'm going to hit play. And if I tap it, I double tap it. Centered. Hello. Well, there's a way you're supposed to be able to make it bigger. It's filling in all of the dark areas with light from the camera on the side. It's the only watch I've ever seen that has a camera light built into it. Really fun. All right, we got to push through this review. So we got the camera, we've got alarms and all the other standard stuff, a built-in browser, da 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 We got email and Gmail on this, and they automatically link into your Google account when you log in. Got the file manager, which shows you what you've got on board here. Uh, not much memory, honestly, but hey, I've installed quite a few apps and they're running just fine. And you can make little video clips and whatnot and offload them and your choice of how you do it. Uh, so all that capabilities there, it's just not like a screaming flagship device right now. It's, it's an oldie but a goodie. I mean, if it's running this operating system, it definitely is, uh, is dated. Thank goodness, because it's the only one I've ever seen that's running the same OS. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. And and the back's got the charger thing, whereas this one you had to stick in the USB uh, connector there. Yeah, totally different design, but this one's uh, updated, definitely updated. If we could just get it more memory, I think we'd be happy. Uh, Gmail, uh, Google settings, your global Google settings. Says heart rate, but it doesn't work. And I think that's why one of the um, announcements said it had a heart rate monitor in it. There's obviously no sensor and it doesn't work. However, secret, there are apps at the in the Google Play Store. I got a couple of them on here that can use the camera. And when you have the camera with a light, you can put your finger here. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, it does work. <gasps> It works simply by, t oh my gosh. I was going to say you have to download a special app to be able, wow. Oh, oh, I'm happy. Okay, 
not only am I seeing my uh, heart rate, which is running all over the place because I'm excited, but look, the heart wave down below. Interesting. You take your finger away, it stops. Wow. It somehow knows to turn on automatically. Whoa, I'm glad we tested that out. Okay, it's got heart rate. But you can also, and you'll see in a moment, download some third-party apps that do cool things. You got the lock screen, so if you want to lock it, nobody can get in it if they kill you and, and, and steal your watch. Not kill you, I mean, you know, take uh, advantage if you're at a football game grand finale party and get... Never mind. <laughs> if there's any reason you think you need to have your watch locked... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, look at that. Different watch faces. Well, that's where they're hiding. But how do I unlock it? Set. Whoa! Whoa! Really? I could have done that on my S8? Whoa! Okay. Has nothing to do with locking the watch, does it? It just has to do with what watch face you've got. I'll be darn! Wow! <laughs> I love doing this together with you guys. I know it wastes some time, but hey, hey, we found something. Maps, uh, you got Google, you got the, you know, uh, GPS and everything in here. Music, if you put it on your card. Pedometer now. Whoa, check this out. It just says pedometer. You think, okay, just going to be pedometer. No, when you tap it, it takes you to Runtastic. You guys have heard of Runtastic, you runners out there? Imagine with the pedometer interface directly to Runtastic that you could use this watch to gather data into that third-party app. That's another first. We hardly ever, like never, see integration of third-party apps together with these Android watches. It wasn't in here, that's for sure. But we've got it in here. You can sign in to your Runtastic account and you're good to go for your step count. Google Play Store works perfect. Google Search. You've got your overall settings, which are pretty lame the way they're grouped. You just have them in these categories. And for those of you who care, when you go into uh, here, you can go to About the Phone. And this is what we're looking at, Android 442. These are the kernel number, build numbers, and all that stuff. If you're looking to try to find the firmware and flash a similar CPU, like maybe onto this one, <laughs> Anyway, there's the technical data that you need from the settings. We've got SIM Toolkit. If you got a SIM, sound recorder. Well, you heard the sound already. No need to do that. It's nice and loud. Uh, a to-do list thing. Videos to play back your videos. And they show up there. We already looked at that. We come over. One more. Uh, uh, a little sluggish. There we go. Oh, oh, okay, now we're getting into the things that I've installed. That's it, yeah, that's it for the stock ones, unless they come up somewhere else. But all these other dots are a bunch of apps that I've put in here, open camera to try a different camera with this thing, the breathing zone like the Apple Watch that you can breathe, and this and this. These are things I was talking about that, you know, you can, you can hold your finger on the screen and it turns the light on. You see the picture going on in the background, and if I hold my finger over here. It can take not only my pulse, but blood pressure, blood oxygen, and a whole bunch more parameters. That's all in this third-party app that you can install called iCare Blood Pressure. Works great on your phone if your camera and light are close enough together. You can do it there. And of course, with this watch, with the light, mm, Mm, yeah, iCardio, something similar. There's a thing like in heart math where you can get the coherence graph of your of your heart and work on mindful meditation and other techniques to, to decrease the variability between heartbeats all doing this. So this watch, you know, it, it may be old, but it's wow. Wow, that, that's a game changer, having a light with a camera setting search. We put that on before and highly recommend it because this is where you can get into all of your stuff behind the uh, scenes of the operating system that you normally can't get to. So plan on that. Floating touches, the little dot you saw that I had on the screen. Um, I can bring that back. By the way, if you lose the dot, if you put it in there and it's gone, go into your notifications. 
because you'll find it there and touch it and then it'll come back on the screen. When you activate it, it's that little wheel. We've seen that before. The upper right hand corner in the free version brings up the app drawer where you have all of your apps right there that you can pick any of them you want to go to and not have to scroll through or have nested folders or anything. So floating touch or highly like that one. The screen off thing is something I've put in that you can just tap and, and turn the screen off. And you probably saw here on the S8 that when I go in here, boom, it's right on the screen on my very first thing and it turns it off. I don't have to use the button very much. That's partly why that's installed. Oh boy, Ada 64 speed tests, all these testing things that you know we're used to doing. I'm gonna skip all that right now. Stopwatch and a tip calculator. By the way, tip calc plus one of the best tip calculators out there. You put in what you want and say done. And it's got your percentage over here and you can crank it up to what? Like 20%? It tells you what the charge was, what the tip would be and what your total is. And you can round that to the nearest quarter or nearest dollar up or down. Really, really great. Of course, I don't usually spend that much for lunch, but you get the idea. You can split too if you want to, how many people and all of that and get your split costs. One of the best, works really good on a rectangular watch, tip count plus. Your Yahoo Weather, YouTube, and so forth. Um, here's some voice things to play with. Um, speech to clipboard will let you just verbally say what app you want to launch, and it'll launch it for you. And, and uh, oh, all our visuals. Here's the proverbial koi pond. Always a good thing to test the watch with. And yeah, they just come swimming out. You've got the water. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You know, I was at home on this thing, so porting these kind of apps right over to this exact same format has been a true joy. True, true joy. Really like this watch. It's called the Our Time X86, and whee, there you go. It's available from GearVest. Yes. And check the show notes down before for the buying link. It's in the show notes down below. And enjoy the heck out of this. I, uh, it's not going to be a, a state-of-the-art new flagship. But you know, if you really like legacy and you want to have fun with a decent operating system that you have control over, I can't say enough about this. It's awesome. It's been a breeze. It's been a blast. It's been so much fun on this watch. And now I know how to change watch faces. <laughs> All right, I got to go have fun. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up. They really help. And the subscription, you know, now that we're kicking up in uh, subscribers, we're starting to catch the eye of some of the uh, Kickstarter and Indiegogo and the other folks that are introducing watches of the future. Hopefully, Hopefully, we'll be able to get some advanced samples of those things, and you can decide from a review here whether you want to invest there. So keep an eye. Keep, uh, keep coming back. We really appreciate your business here. All right, we'll catch you later. And check out GearBest, okay? <laughs>